Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim with me, Agamemnon 101, and we just finished Bleak Falls Barrow. It looks like it's raining out, as you can see my character is kind of wet. Um, it's really dark out, like I said, I knew this was going to happen, it's going to be extremely dark. I can't find Fandel anywhere, he's probably running around somewhere. There he is, he probably spawned outside the cave. Now, it's probably going to be really difficult to see, um, so I'm going to try and get back to town and sleep. I have made it my goal not to just randomly wait in the wilds. I feel that that would be a little bit too cheating. Um, I know you guys want to see, and I'm pretty sure you guys are having a very difficult time seeing. So, uh, I'll try my best to get to a place to sleep. Any place to sleep. Even if it's like a campsite that I could sleep there, I will sleep there. I'm pretty sure there's one down this way, but we're going to have to find it. Um, we'll see. I think I can sort of see a campfire. No, no, it's nothing yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, if you guys see off in the dif distance there, if I put my hand right here, right where my fist was, you can probably see it. That's where the fire will be. I hope. So let's try and get there. Really, really difficult to see, though, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Alright, it's a swim over. Fortunately, your torch goes out like that. Let's hope no one's sleeping in the bed over here. Nope, it's just some random dude. Usually it's a chick, but anyway, I'm going to sleep in your bed, buddy. For the, I don't know, six hours? Should be good. It shouldn't be too dark. It just should be nice. Six hours of sleep seems kind of normal. There we go. Looks pretty good. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Um... You know what? I'm gonna sleep for one more hour. Make it nice and nicely daytime. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts. There we go. So as you can see, it's still kind of dark, but it's gonna become brighter. It's still raining out, of course, but at least your lighting will be at least a little bit better. I should still have the the mage. There you go. Good. Let's uh, go ahead and try and get our way back to Riverwood, hand in our quest, and then I think we're gonna head on to uh, White Run. Which seems like uh, the best, the best step to go to, I would say. White Run seems like a very good idea. Um, and you'll also notice that White Run looks so much better than uh, it did before. I got a mod called Beautiful White Run, which makes basically White Run maybe not look too much like uh, it, Bethesda wanted to make it look like. Oh shit! There's a, some wolves chasing me. There you go. <clears throat> Jerk. Trying to eat me while I'm trying to explain things. But, like, I got a mod called Beautiful White Run. It basically makes the uh, White Run look a lot nicer than it used to. Wait, I don't think I clicked on the same wolf. There we go. Wouldn't make sense if one wolf didn't have a wolf pelt. It doesn't make any sense. It should be 100% drop rate. <laughs> I was like, ugh. That's weird. This wolf apparently doesn't have a pelt. Such a beautiful game. Now, if I was recording this in 1080p, it was actually running at around 18 to 20 frames per second. Um, so, and this is actually still staying at that fairly steady 30 frames per second. Of course, I have Fraps locked to that. So, uh, since YouTube doesn't uh, allow for really longer, or sorry, faster videos, it'll just cut them back down to that number. Now, I, I did say I was going to, you know, wait... Oh, well, sorry, I didn't say I wasn't going to wait, but since the store is not open, I'm just going to go wait. That's kind of a bad decision on my part to only sleep for that long, so. I should be allowed in here. Yeah, no breaking in or anything like that. It shouldn't be illegal. Uh, I should be able to hand this back in. Now, I don't know if I was allowed to go in there already, but uh, it's better to not have to worry about it. Now, let me unequip my torch. Go ahead, talk to this guy. The sooner you find the Here's your you golden claw. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. Cool. Not a great thing for me and my sister. Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Okay. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it's a fine day with you around. Mm-hmm. Alright. So there you go. Still raining out, <laughs> shockingly enough. But at least uh, we don't need a torch anymore, so that means I can go ahead and uh, equip my fire. And uh, let's 
Let's make our way to Whiterun. I think that would be a very good decision. Now, I'm not even going to cut this part out because I feel like it's not needed to be cut out. Um, because it's just a pretty game. And uh, a lot of the parts of Skyrim is to just enjoy a good looking game. Uh, especially with lush grass and lush trees uh, mods added on, along with the lighting effects. I mean,. Uh, Right now, Skyrim would be very bright if I was using um, the vanilla version of this. But with this um, realistic sort of lighting, which is not the mod I'm using, um, but it is a different one I'm using. Again, check the description to see what mods I'm using. I will put them down there. Uh oh. Um, but yeah, in the description there is... Uh, going to be all the mods put in there. Not the links, but you can find every single mod on Skyrim Nexus, which is nice. Look at this landscape, man. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Man. One of the most beautiful games ever. For exploring and everything like that, especially with no HUD. It's just freaking awesome. I love no HUD. And every game, if any, I wish Mass Effect had a no HUD mode in a way. Just to do like some fun things with it. Oh, also I have War Zones on, so I think War Zones is a mod, and it makes it so there's some random wars that go on here. So there might be a war, maybe about to start. Uh, no, no, no. Never mind. He doesn't like me. Actually, you know what? Let's free this guy. He doesn't deserve to be under the oppression of Imperials. Let's uh. Free the prisoner. Uh, free and share items. I think I can probably give him a weapon. I believe. Just some weapon that I don't want to use. Yeah, we'll give him a, an iron dagger. Let's give him one. Let's see what we can do. Half is low. Oh no, they killed him anyway. Shit. Damn. I guess I ended his life a little bit earlier. But at least he had some hope before he died, so that's always nice. Uh, I'll take your torch. I don't think this was a crime, by the way, so... Nice, he, he did a good job. Nice. Okay. That was an interesting situation. Amulet of Mara. Yay! Restoration spells cost 10% less. That's awesome. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, beverage? Wine? Sure. Imperial Bow. Is Imperial Bow any good? I don't think so. <clears throat> Damn. Well, let's go claim our Iron Dagger back. Not that we need it. I think I can go get it back. Where'd he die? He got stabbed somewhere, right? I think it's just him. Yeah. Weird enough, he did not use the dagger. You'd think that they would have made it so if you give the guys a freaking weapon, you would, uh, he would use it. But anyway, more torches the better. That's always a bonus. Ooh, steel dagger. I'll take that. I can probably sell that. Some gold. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, there's White Run, by the way. Looking pretty good. And there's the giant that we should probably go deal with. Just equipped both my fire abilities, I think. Alright, let's go help these guys out. Alright, burn, giant. Nice. That was pretty that's pretty easy. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. Why thank you. Uh what is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? Yep. An order of I've heard of them. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Cool. You know what? I'm just gonna tab out. I don't really care about talking to her anyway. You look strong. Come to your basket. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, now it updates my quest. I guess I had to talk to her again to see how I can get joined. Oh, it looks like there's a war going on over here. And some glitchiness going on in those mountains. Looks like the Stormcloaks are uh, fighting some Imperials over here as one of the war zones. 
Yeah, looks like the Stormcloaks are winning. Let's help them out. There you go. Now, the nice thing is, after the battles, you can actually go ahead and loot some of these guys. Um, and this is happening all over Skyrim right now. All these, all these wars um, between between the Imperials and imp between the Stormcloaks. And this mod's really awesome for that. Ooh, some a nice little amulet there. Some Stormcloaks are dead. A little bit unfortunate for them. Oh, some fur gauntlets. Thank you. I can give that to Fandel. Some gold. And I'm kind of just one of those innocent bystanders that helped out a little bit. <laughs> I did burn one of the freaking Imperials there, but... Yeah, these wars are going on all around Tamriel. So, definitely something interesting. I guess some of the wildlife decided to go ahead and watch. I guess they're creepy like that. Oh, looks like he survived. He's a mage caster. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, seeing these different wars going on over time. Uh-oh. What is this? That's interesting. Looks like the bodies got piled here. I didn't do that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and steal whatever clothes we can. Okay, we're cool. Interesting. So yeah, that's one of the fights that are going on. Just outside of Whiterun, not too not too close to Whiterun, but fairly outside. Um, if you don't know, Whiterun is neutral in the war between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials, and they haven't decided either uh, to join the Imperials or to join the Stormcloaks. They're kind of on the verge of joining the Imperials, though. But, uh, yeah. We'll see exactly what happens, depending on who I join. I don't know who I'm going to join, but right now I am wearing... A storm cloak, freaking cloak! But I just love the cloak. Still here. Uh, and I'm gonna give you. What do you want me to carry? Uh, some gloves. I want you to give you. I want to give you some gloves here. Uh oh. All right. I probably can give you an amulet. Can't. Oh wait, no. I think I'm gonna enchant some of those or de-enchant. All right. Let me give you some gauntlets. Cool. Ah oh, man, I really want to enchant some stuff. I really do. I'm really excited to do it. We'll see what we can do. Looks like this white run guard was fighting. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Okay. Official business only. Well, let me tell your leader about the dragon attack at least. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. You got it. I will not be killing people inside White Run. <laughs> yet but the only way to really do anything and uh, to really branch out in the game you have to help out white run because it's what triggers dragons that's what we want to deal with I'm sure I love dragons there is a mod to make dragons more powerful and scary but I think I'll add that mod maybe once I hit level 20 or 30 um, Apparently the fights can get pretty long though, so it's going to be a question as if as to if I want to do that or not. I uh, maybe not just to keep the fluidity of the game going pretty nice, but I don't know. Anyway, loading towns kind of takes a while sometimes, uh, which is unfortunate. But hey, this is White Run. We'll you may notice that White Run is a lot kind of different soldiers. looking. It's very pretty, very pretty, as opposed to uh, before, and I, I really love it. So yeah, everything everything about this place has been really revamped, and uh, it's been given that better look, I'd say. A much more beautiful, beautiful place to adventure within Skyrim, which I find to be really cool. So let's go ahead and just... Auto run. We'll try and go talk to the leader. And because I want to do a dragon attack in this episode, I want to fight off a dragon. Um, I will skip through some of the dialogue though, guys, because I I've heard it so many times, and I do apologize. I'm gonna try and keep this kind of series more action-based early on, and then we'll get more into the story. Uh, if you want to see the beginning of the story, just feel free to go watch Tales of Alara. You can see a little bit more of it, which is on my channel, so you guys can go check that out. Pretty darn cool. Um, anyway. Can I please open the door? <laughs> uh, apparently you wanted me to listen to that Stormcloak. Or, oh, sorry, not that Stormcloak. The White Run Guard. Oddly enough. Oddly enough. 
All right. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip this entire conversation, guys. Um, simply because it's just kind of dry, and I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this part until we get to the up to the point of where we fight some dragons. Okay, and we're back. Just got to the point where I talked to Farangar. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What, what was okay, so what I'm going to do actually real quick is go into this enchanting table here. I'm going to de-enchant some stuff that I don't think I'll ever use. Like this Ancient Nord Battle Axe. Uh, takes, target takes 5 points of frost damage to health and stamina. I'm going to learn that by de-enchanting and losing the weapon, or the item itself. Now, I did lose some money from it, yes. Um, but I think it's probably worth it. You learn frost damage. Well, okay. And I have novice robes of illusion that I'm wearing, so I'm actually gonna de-enchant the novice robes because I don't need those. They are worth a bit, but I'm not going to use them. So, yeah. And you learn fortified magicka. Yay! Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see about enchanting fortify magicka regen. Uh, I'm gonna see about enchanting a ring, if that's at all possible, or maybe my gloves, at all. Or, I can't? Ah, uh, that's weird. Maybe I have to have it unequipped? Yeah, maybe I just need to have it unequipped. Oh, and I got steel uh, imperial armor, apparently. Steel imperial armor, that's kind of weird. Uh, from the guy. So let's quit enchanting. enchanting. I'm going to go ahead and unequip my gloves. So let's go to defense and let's unequip my gauntlets and see if I can upgrade them to give me some magicka regen and uh okay so item we're gonna go down 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 okay iron gauntlets please the enchantment oh okay so i guess these gauntlets are just not allowed to get said enchantment so what is the iron armor the iron helmet okay let's just upgrade the silver ring now do i have any soul gems uh okay i don't and it would have only given me one so i guess we're gonna have to worry about this later Unfortunately, I cannot enchant anything cool. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, now we are here with the tower on fire, and we just decided to get all the way over here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Okay. Spread out and look for survivors. Now, what I'm going to need to do is equip my, uh,. Hunting bow to my favorites and go ahead and do that because in the end we're actually going to need a freaking hunting bow just to deal with this thing. Now I don't need a torch so that's okay so I won't need to worry about my torch for now but I will equip it to 4 in case it does get dark. Um, right now it is currently 5.02 p.m. so it could get dark very quickly. So let's, let's go check out this tower to see what's going on here. Alright. Everything looks fairly normal. Wait, what the hell? Uh... I really... I guess we'll check that out in a bit. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of... Some, something landed from space into the... into the earth. Impacted the earth. Doesn't seem exactly good. Okay. Let's see, where could this dragon be? Look at that sun, man. That's so beautiful. That's amazing. Okay. Store. Where do I go? Oh, I'm gonna fall off the side. Oh god. What the hell? Oh god. What was that? It sounded like a siren. Like a dragon siren. Where the hell is it? Alright, maybe I'm just in a bad position. Oh, there it is. Alright, shoot this thing. Uh-oh. Nice. This thing is not exactly a nice dragon. Oh god. Oh, he almost torched me. 
All right, let's get down. Yeah, he's he's torching the roof now. Doesn't like me being there. She has some sort of magical ability on her. Oh, there's a dragon. Oh god, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a big fight. Look at all that blood, man. That's awesome. That looks so awesome. You can even see the moon starting to uh, appear, eh? Uh oh. He might be wounded. Whoa, whoa. Flame ball. Right on that guy. Yeah, see, he's wounded. That's why he's walking. Alright. Let's use our magic. Dual casting magic. Yeah, there we go. Let's keep torching him for good measure. There we go. Nice job, guys. High five your monitors. We just took down our first dragon. That was awesome. Sweet. Magical powers being absorbed. My power level is over. Two or three. <laughs> it's over 9,000. I wish. Uh, let's grab some of that gold. Some of those dragon scales would be oh so delightful. By the way, um, the leader of White Run gave me some boots. They gave me some extra uh, uh, carrying capacity. I think it's plus 25 now, which is super good. Some iron arrows from me and some steel arrows from all the guards. Now, I could st sit around and listen to them all babber on about me being dragonborn and all that crap. Let's face it, I'm dragonborn, guys. I'm dragonborn. A hero, a hero. Okay, I don't know that song. I was like, here's a warrior's go. Yeah, I can't sing. Don't quit my day job, I know. I understand, guys. I understand. Alright, let me skip until the loading screen's done. Okay, loading screen's done. Fast traveled in here. Let's talk to these guys. They're kind of bugging the guards here. Uh, likely. We are not yep. welcome okay. So I just got so summoned by the gods. Or, sorry, not the, by the gods. By the sort of gods. Not really gods, but... Whatever. Let's uh, get to Dragon's Keep. Or Dragon's Reach. I forget what they call it. And uh, let's talk to the White Run leader. No, thank you. I don't. I don't really care for your trinkets. Maybe I should equip a torch. Ah, there we go. Much brighter. Thank you. I killed a dragon. I'm awesome. There's an Imperial there. Oh, shut up. Damn those Grey Mane tro defending themselves. I don't know. I still don't know who I want to join. Imperials or Stormcloaks? Imperials try to kill me, but Stormcloaks are very racist. And they didn't try to kill me, so that means it's pretty different. It's a pretty difficult choice. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Alright. Let's go claim our reward, which is to be allowed access to buy a house. Good. You're finally here. The so what happened at and the let me... Tower? Turns the out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? I know nothing. But um, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Yes, they were. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Hmm. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. Cool. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. Okay, cool. Let me just talk to him again. Great sir. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Cool. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. The Greybeards. 
didn't shoot him. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. So now we have a new weapon. What did he give us? Um, gave us the Axe of White Run, which is a two-handed weapon, I'm assuming. Yeah, two-handed weapon. Cool. Um, if a target dies within three seconds, it w fills the soul gem. Sound as you return to White Run. Let me... That was the voice of the great now, maybe I should sell this weapon, but I don't know. It does have soul trap on it. Um, it's only worth 168, so not that much. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't realize you were right there. Um, <laughs> uh, let's let's disenchant it. Yeah, X White Run. Uh, disenchant. Yay! You learned Soul Trap enchantment. Cool. See, those are the boots of lifting that I'm currently wearing. Uh, I don't want to disenchant anything else, so it's not. Um, cool. So, I think this is a really good wrapping up point. I think this is a really good wrapping up point for this episode. That's Lydia right there. Let's go talk to her real quick. Cool. Um, so, that's Lydia. I may use her, I may not. I mean, every character that I play with is... Uh, it benefits me in some way. Um, I may go for her in a minute, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Fandil says goodbye. Bye, buddy. And uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you have not already for some more Skyrim. You can also check out Mass Effect 3 and the upcoming Minecraft Let's Play. See you guys next time. Take it easy.